Sometimes you wish to display data in multiple categories, so I'll show you how to do that here, add that symbology. So first we have to get rid of these files here that we've loaded, so I go to Remove Layers, and it'll ask me if I want to, but I can also remove multiple at a time by just holding the Shift key and selecting multiple layers, and then removing them together in the last. Do I want to remove both of those? And I'll say yes. I want you to add the wetlands data here stored back in our source. Remember, we want to add the wetlands.shp, the shape file. There's a bunch of them that have the same start of the name, but a different end of the name. And so I have data layers here that have multiple categories. These are all different wetland types, and I can go to the Inquire button here and click on one, and you can see we get on the right here the information about that particular polygon displayed. So we're most interested in the different wetland types. This is a lake wetland type, and I have palustrin or upland or different kinds, and so it highlights what's selected and shows you what type it is. But I'd like to make a map that colors these types by their different values or categories. So I'll go to my properties window as before, and rather than a single symbol in the symbology, I'll make sure that I have categorized uh, values set. And I want to tell them that I want to use the wetland type as the value to apply. And I can pick a color ramp, random colors is fine with me. And then I have to hit this classify button down here, and it looks in that value of the table associated with these data and reads through and adds all the different categories, <clears throat> the unique categories. And so I'll apply that and you can see then here in the back the colors are applied. Now I don't necessarily like this set of colors. It's okay, but I might want to change a few. So for example, I might want to make my uplands here uh, different than this purple so I can double left click on them you know, just so you see and it opens our simple fill window and I can change that fill then by selecting it and then picking a different color. Maybe I want it kind of a yellowish, orangish, and I want it a really light color. Um, something like this it shows up here for my uplands and that's okay and okay and then I apply it and you see it turns the wet or the upland values in our wetland layer to this tan color. I want to make the lakes blue, so again I'll double left click and I'll click on my uh, patch there, the color patch, and I want to make it a nice dark blue. And so I'll pick that color and say OK and OK and apply. i got to remember all those. And now I have different colors that I might like more. So again remember you go to the properties set the symbology to categorize, select the value that you want to use as unique categories, and then classify and apply a color ramp.